Let's walk on the wise path. Picture this. You're walking through your everyday life, maybe going to work, running errands, meeting friends. Everything feels solid, predictable, right? You wake up to the same bed, the same sky, the same streets. But what if I told you that everything you see around you might just be an illusion? It's like waking up in a dream and realizing that nothing is what it seems. I know, it sounds like something straight out of a science fiction movie, but hear me out. This idea isn't just some far-fetched theory. It's something that scientists and spiritual seekers alike have been wrestling with for years. Albert Einstein, the brilliant mind behind the theory of relativity, once said, reality is merely an illusion, albeit a very persistent one. Now, coming from the man who revolutionized our understanding of time and space, that's not something to take lightly. But here's where it gets even more intriguing. Modern quantum physics is revealing that our universe is way stranger and less concrete than Einstein himself ever imagined. It turns out, the universe might be a lot more like a vast, intricate dream than a machine-like reality we've been taught to believe in. This isn't just about wild theories or abstract equations. This discovery has huge implications for how we see ourselves and the world around us. Are we really just cogs in a predictable mechanical universe? Or could our consciousness be playing a much bigger role in shaping reality? As we dive deeper, we'll see how the boundaries between science and spirituality start to blur, and how ancient wisdom may have understood the true nature of reality all along. So, if you're ready to challenge everything you thought you knew about the world, then let's take this journey together and explore the possibility that the universe is not as real as it seems. All right, let's start with what we think we know. For most of us, reality is straightforward. You see a chair, you sit on it, and it's solid. You see the sun rising in the morning, and you trust that it will set in the evening. We grow up believing that our senses are giving us an accurate picture of the world around us. After all, our senses have served us pretty well, right? They help us navigate our daily lives, make decisions, and interact with the world. But the truth is, our senses are like a filter, not a window. They don't show us everything, only what they are designed to pick up. Think about it. Dogs can hear sounds we can't, and some animals can see ultraviolet light. So, what are we missing out on? If our senses only show us a small slice of reality, how can we be so sure that what we see is all there is? It's like watching a movie on a black and white TV and thinking that's how the world really looks. It's not wrong, but it's definitely not the whole story. Einstein's famous statement, reality is merely an illusion, pushes us to question this assumption. He wasn't saying that the chair you're sitting on doesn't exist. He meant that our understanding of it is limited. The deeper we dig into the nature of the universe, the more we find out that reality is a lot more complex than just what our eyes and ears tell us. This is where quantum physics comes in, revealing a world that is unpredictable, strange, and filled with possibilities. It challenges the idea of a solid, unchanging reality and opens up the door to a universe that is far more mysterious and fluid than we ever imagined. Now, let's tackle that brain-twisting idea of the universe being not locally real. I know, it sounds like a complex scientific term, but it's actually not that hard to understand once you break it down. When scientists say that the universe isn't locally real, they mean two things. Local refers to the idea that objects should only be influenced by their immediate surroundings, and real means that these objects have definite states, whether or not we observe them. But quantum physics turns this upside down. It's a bit like playing a game of hide-and-seek with the universe. You think you know where everything is, but as soon as you look, it changes its hiding spot. In the world of quantum mechanics, particles don't have definite positions or states until someone like a scientist with a fancy piece of equipment decides to measure them. Until then, they exist in a state of uncertainty, like a blurred photograph. It's like trying to catch a soap bubble with your hands every time you reach out. It changes. And then there's the concept of non-locality. Imagine you have two identical twins, 
but they're separated by millions of miles. Now, if you pinch one of them, the other instantly says, ouch, no matter how far apart they are. This is what happens with entangled particles in quantum physics. When you change the state of one, the other reacts instantaneously, even if they're on opposite sides of the universe. There's no wire, no signal, nothing connecting them, at least not in the way we understand connection. This phenomenon, known as quantum entanglement, puzzled even Einstein. He called it spooky action at a distance because it seemed to break the rules of classical physics. But this spookiness might just be the key to understanding a universe where reality isn't fixed and where what we think of as separate objects might actually be part of a deeper, interconnected whole. If you thought things couldn't get weirder, wait until you hear about the double slit experiment. This is where quantum physics really starts to feel like magic. Picture this. Scientists set up an experiment where they shoot tiny particles, like electrons, through a barrier with two slits. If you're thinking about it like shooting paintballs through a fence, you'd expect to see two lines of splatters on the wall behind it, right? But that's not what happens. When scientists don't look directly at the particles, they behave like waves. They spread out, pass through both slits at the same time, and create an interference pattern on the other side, like the ripples you'd see if you dropped two stones into a pond. But here's where it gets mind-blowing. If scientists set up a detector to see which slit the particles go through, they stop behaving like waves. Instead, they act like tiny, solid marbles, going through one slit or the other, and leaving just two lines behind. In other words, the particles change their behavior based on whether or not they are being observed. It's like the universe is playing a game, showing us different sides of itself depending on whether or not we're watching. It's as if reality is saying, Oh, you're looking. I'll behave this way. You're not? Okay, I'll do something else. As mind-bending as these quantum discoveries are, they aren't entirely new. For thousands of years, ancient spiritual traditions have been telling us something eerily similar. Hindu philosophy talks about Maya, the illusion that masks the true nature of reality. Buddhism teaches that the world we perceive is like a mirage, obscuring a deeper, unchanging truth. It's almost as if these ancient philosophies understood something about the nature of the universe that modern science is only beginning to uncover. Quantum physics and spiritual teachings might use different languages, but they seem to be pointing toward the same mystery. Reality is not as solid as it appears, and everything is interconnected in ways that go beyond our everyday understanding. Think about it like this. Science and spirituality are two sides of the same coin, each trying to understand the intricate puzzle of existence. While scientists use equations and experiments, ancient mystics used meditation and introspection. Both are seeking answers to the same big question, what is the true nature of reality? The idea that everything is connected resonates with ancient teachings like the Buddhist concept of interbeing which says that all things are interconnected and dependent on each other. Even the idea of non-locality, where particles can influence each other across vast distances, has echoes in spiritual concepts like the web of life or the cosmic mind. It's as if quantum physics is the science of the mystical, revealing the hidden threads that bind the universe together. Let's dig deeper into this idea of consciousness shaping reality. If particles in the quantum world behave differently when we observe them, could it be that our minds have a similar effect on the reality we experience every day? It might sound like wishful thinking, but quantum theory suggests that our observation can actually influence outcomes on a microscopic level. So, what happens when we apply that to our everyday lives? Think about your mind as a projector and reality as the movie screen. Every thought, Every belief is like a reel of film running through the projector, casting images onto the screen of your life. Have you ever noticed how when you focus on something like when you're excited about buying a new car, you suddenly start seeing that car model everywhere? It's like the universe is responding to your focus, bringing more of what you're thinking about into your experience. Some call this phenomenon the law of attraction. 
but it's not just about manifesting your dream house or your ideal job. It's about recognizing that your mind is not just a passive receiver of reality, it's an active participant. Quantum physics suggests that reality is like a field of possibilities, and our consciousness is what makes one of those possibilities become real. Quantum physicists have discovered something fascinating. The universe is like a vast, invisible ocean of energy. They call this the quantum field, a kind of energy matrix that connects every particle, every atom, every bit of matter. It's like a cosmic Wi-Fi network, invisible yet always present, linking everything together in an intricate dance. And here's where things get interesting ancient spiritual traditions have been talking about this same idea for centuries, just using different words. In many spiritual practices, there's the concept of a universal energy field that connects all living beings, all thoughts, all forms of matter. It's the same idea you find in practices like meditation, where people talk about connecting with a deeper, more universal part of themselves. Some call it the divine matrix. Others refer to it as prana or chi, the life force that flows through everything. It's as if modern science and ancient spirituality are describing the same underlying reality, just from different perspectives. Think of it like tuning a radio. When you change the station, you're not creating the music, you're just tapping into a frequency that's already there. Similarly, when you focus your thoughts or practice meditation, you're tuning into the quantum field, aligning yourself with the energy that flows through the entire universe. It's like finding the right frequency that connects you with the hidden patterns of reality. Now let's talk about time and space, those things we all take for granted. We're used to thinking of time as a straight line yesterday, today, tomorrow, and space. It's just the distance between things, right? But when you dive into the world of quantum physics, time and space aren't as straightforward as they seem. In fact, particles in the quantum world seem to disregard time and distance altogether. There's this phenomenon called quantum entanglement, where two particles become linked in such a way that whatever happens to one instantly affects the other, no matter how far apart they are. It's as if the universe has a secret shortcut that ignores the usual rules of time and space. Imagine picking up the phone and instantly talking to someone on the other side of the world without any signal delay. That's how entangled particles communicate, defying our usual understanding of the world. And here's the thing spiritual traditions have been talking about the transcendence of time and space for ages. Think of deep states of meditation where practitioners describe losing their sense of time or feeling connected to something beyond themselves. It's like tapping into a reality where the usual rules don't apply. Some mystics even describe time as an illusion, a construct of the mind that keeps us tied to the physical world. Here's the thing, the more we uncover about the universe, the more we realize how much we don't know. Quantum physics, with all its strange discoveries, has shown us that the universe is far from being a neatly ordered machine. Take Heisenberg's uncertainty principle. For example, it states that we can't know both the exact position and speed of a particle at the same time. The more precisely we measure one, the less we know about the other. It's like the universe is saying, hey, some things are meant to stay mysterious, and maybe that's okay. In fact, Ancient spiritual teachings have always embraced the idea that not everything needs to be understood. Mystics often speak of the divine mystery, a space beyond human comprehension where the ultimate truths reside. It's a place where logic falls short and all that's left is a sense of awe and wonder. It's like standing at the edge of a vast ocean, knowing that there's a depth that goes far beyond what you can see. This mystery isn't just a gap in our knowledge. It's an invitation. It's an invitation to explore, to question, and to remain open to the unknown. It's about realizing that life doesn't come with all the answers wrapped up in a neat little package, and that's what makes it so beautiful. Science, too, is about exploring the unknown, pushing the boundaries of what we understand, even when the answers are elusive. Let's bring all these ideas back to you and me. If reality is as fluid and malleable as quantum physics suggests, then what role do we play in shaping it? 
It's a big question, but it comes down to this. You are not just a spectator in the universe, you're a creator. And I don't mean that in some abstract feel-good way. I mean it in a very real, tangible sense. Every thought you think, every intention you set, has the power to shape your experience of reality. Think of your mind like a flashlight in a dark room. Wherever you shine the light, that's what you see. If you focus on the good things in your life, that's what lights up. But if you keep your beam pointed at fear, doubt, or negativity, then that's what becomes your reality. It's not about ignoring the challenges or pretending everything is perfect. It's about realizing that you have a choice in where you focus your energy. This idea of conscious creation isn't just a spiritual belief, it's backed by the principles of quantum physics. If observing a particle can change its state, what about the way you observe your own life? What if, just by shifting your mindset, you could start to see new possibilities, new opportunities that were always there, but hidden in the shadows? It's like putting on a new pair of glasses and seeing a different world. So here we are, standing on the edge of everything we thought we knew, peering into a reality that's far more mysterious than we ever imagined. The deeper we look into the nature of the universe, the more we see that it might be more like a dream than a concrete reality. But here's the thing, dreams aren't meaningless. They're a space of endless possibilities, a place where we can explore, create, and transform. And if the universe is like a dream, then you have the power to shape it. This isn't just about understanding quantum physics or meditating until you float away. It's about realizing that you are an active participant in the unfolding of reality. You're not just a drop in the ocean, you're the entire ocean in a drop. Every thought, every action, every moment of intention ripples out, affecting not just your own life, but the world around you. It's a bit like being given the keys to a car you didn't know you could drive. Suddenly, you're not just a passenger, you're in the driver's seat. And that's where the real adventure begins. When you start to see yourself as a co-creator of reality, life takes on a whole new meaning. Challenges become opportunities for growth, and every moment becomes a chance to create something new. The universe is like a giant playground and you have the freedom to explore it in ways you never thought possible. So what will you do with this new understanding? Will you keep seeing the world as fixed and unchangeable? Or will you embrace the mystery and start shaping the reality you want to live in? The universe is listening. It's waiting for you to take that first step, to ask the questions that matter, and to see beyond the illusion. Are you ready to see the world not as it is, but as it could be? The choice is yours, and the possibilities are endless.